More and more films and dramas are being made in collaboration with production companies and even staff and talent from other nations. Amid such trends, South Korea is receiving lots of attention from across the globe as it's considered a country with a rich cultural tapestry. Kim bo sheds slide on this development. The movie Minari and drama series Pachinko are both made in the U.S. But as we all know already, they talk about Korean immigrant stories and star Korean actors. And the film Broker, which was recently selected for the competition section of the 75th Cannes Film Festival, is a Korean film, but directed by an award-winning Japanese auteur, Koreeda Hirokazu. Globalization and diversification mean more jointly produced movies are being made, crossing borders when choosing their staff, actors, plots and shooting location. Yes, like a product, a film has its nationality, mainly decided by which country the production company is based in. Yet, compared to the past when the internet connection wasn't good enough or traveling was not common, most film plots were limited to a single country. But now, with the borders being phased out and with easier connectivity, there's more and more content that many countries can take part in, and thus, films with many identities are being released. The global film market aims to dig up fresh stories and actors regardless of borders, and South Korea is in the spotlight. A recently released film, Vanishing, is one example. It is French, but it was shot in Korea and stars well-known actor Yoo yeon seok And the horror film, titled Omma, which means mom in Korean, starring Sandra Oh, shows how such Korean elements are appearing in Hollywood flicks. Now, more and more production companies overseas consider Korean-related stories makeable and believe they have a good chance of success. They're getting more interested in Korea. And it is not just Hollywood that is interested in other countries' stories and history. Korea's film industry, too, is becoming more globalized. Three, directed by Korean director Park Ruslan, delivers a story set in Kazakhstan featuring Kazakh or Russian actors. With more jointly made content to come, there is a chance to shed more light on stories that until now have been in the shadows. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.